Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Teresa. I'm Natalie. And today we are back for number four of our Lounge Fly Backpack Reviews. We've got a few more today to look over with you guys. And who would like to go first? Me. All right, go ahead. So this is a Poig Lounge Fly Backpack and it's really nice out. It is. All right, so this one was a special release for San Diego Comic-Con last year. Um, it was an exclusive one and I think they said that a certain amount were released and whatnot. And so this is really cute. The material on it's actually like a fuzzy material. Which was fun. That's different. You can actually probably kind of see it too. But yeah, so it's a fuzzy material with the pork and everything on there. And then of course you've got the Star Wars plaque. Um, this one is a little bit different than some of the other bags I've had where the front pouch is a little bit more flush with the front of the bag. So it does it's probably a little bit smaller, but not so not so bad because it is softer on the inside with the material. You still be able to fit a certain amount in with the other bags. The inside is the same material, it's like the same leather material, so there's not as much give. So this one does have some give because it's the fabric inside, so you can do you're still able to fit a, a good amount of things in there. Like for me, I normally keep like some tissues, hand sanitizer, chapstick, all of that. Um, but otherwise, it is the same as the other bags here. You've got so you've got the big main pouch as well as the two side pouches. And as I've mentioned before, I am able to fit my phone in there. I have an iPhone XS Max. Um, Widthwise, it fits in. Height, it, it does stick out a little bit. But I haven't had any issues with my phone falling out. So, but we always like to show you guys too what the inside of the bags look like. Hmm? It's the wind outside. It blows into this window really loudly. But we want to show you guys the inside. Go ahead. Whoa! Oh my God! They're porgs. They're different. They're different porgs in different positions. So like he's like kind of like has a whole circle. He's he's flying. It's just so funny. I know, but yeah, it's really cute on the inside. You get the lining of the different porgs and different poses and everything on the inside. So I thought this was a really cool release. I did manage to snag this one off of um, eBay. They were, they were going for very high. Um, when they first came out at San Diego Comic Con, I was looking for them and people were, they were buying them and reselling them online for like well over $100. I did not have to pay that much for this one, thank goodness. No, I, I just kind of waited and this one actually popped up for a really good price and I was able to snack this one. It's very cute, I do love the books. Cool. All right, you wanna go next? This one is Doctor Who the Toby's Pop. Yeah. So they've released a few different Doctor Who ones. Um, I want to say Hot Topic has one right now. It's a little bit different. It is the TARDIS still, but it doesn't have this this kind of front pouch the, that I normally have, where it's like it's prominently in the front. I think that the one that um, Hot Topic has on their site right now is uh, it's it's a flush front, so like more like the the port where it's just flush on the front. It doesn't the the front pouch doesn't stick out as flush with the front. And they still have it, but. Again, it's not this style. Um, this one I got off of the BBC website. It was on sale for half off. It was half off. It was in my feed, so I'm like, I'm getting it. But it's really cool. You get the whole. It's <laughs> it's low. Like I said, I have a lot, and I I don't pay full price for for them. Like I I win some or whatever, but I don't pay full price. If not, this is a lot of money. My husband would divorce my butt. <laughs> but. Yes, yeah, so you get the TARDIS blue and everything on there that says police box, the plaque on the door, and all that. Yes, the lounge cool. fly pack that comes with it is on the side, that way it doesn't really interfere with the front design, which I think is really nice that it doesn't cover that up. And then, um, same thing as all the other bags that I've had, big main pouch, front pouch, side pouch. And I haven't said it at the beginning of this video, but if you've watched my other ones, you know um, one of the main complaints about these launch fly backpacks is that um, people don't like that there's no dividers in the big main pouch. Which stuff gets lost in it or roll around, they can't find what they need to find. Um, my solution is to use makeup bags, pencil bags, just to separate my things and organize them because that's just how I am normally anyways. Um, but inside, nothing fancy. Um, it's just the launch fly logo. I think I have two bags now, but that's that's all it is. It's just the Launch Fly logo on the inside. It's the Mulan one, yeah, the one with the, the Mulan chibi characters. Um, 
they uh, most of the bags, like uh, like I've mentioned before, have something specialized in lining on the inside. Like the Buzz Lightyear one is really cool. It has some little aliens in it, and it's obviously the Porg one here. And then the little Porg one here obviously has little Porgs in it. Um, but yeah, these ones are a little bit more plain with just a little bit on the inside, but still really cool. But yes, I thought this was a really fun find for half off. And then the next one I have, no, here's a. Here's a, here's a hint, you know. Here's a hint of what it is. Yeah, I don't know. If, I, I, I just realized it might be backwards in the video, but it says Vader things. So, what do you think? Any guesses before I show you? Stranger Things! Yay! I like this one. So, Stranger Things, I, um, they also have a couple different designs. I liked this one, the, the little chibi characters of all of them. So, if you want to take a look. We've got Dustin on there, as well as Mike, and Walkie Talkie, and of course the infamous Lego My Ego Waffles. You have a little dart actually hidden right there as well. And then of course you've got Eleven, the Demogorgon, Lucas, we have got poor Will upside down over there. Because he's upside down. And then the slingshot, and then they have different letters with the little um, Christmas lights on them. And I did look, they actually have different letters, it's not just the same one repeated. Let's, let's see if I can find like, another one. Like, there's an R one somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see so here's U, and then you've got 11 on the little stones as well. But yeah, um, as I've mentioned again in some of my previous videos, if you haven't seen them yet, um, one of the main problems with buying bags where they're patterned like this versus a full design on the front, like the TARDIS, obviously like, it's always going to look like this, but the ones where they're patterned, um, it is a little bit hit and miss about the placement of the characters on it, and obviously if you're in the store you're able to pick it out, but if you're like me where you buy a lot of it online, um, it's just based on what they ship you. I've had an issue with it a few times here and there where I'm not, I've been, haven't been really happy with the placement because like all of the characters' face got cut off because it was just placed really poorly on that specific backpack. Um, but this one, I do like, I think, you know, if you've got Dustin and Dart right there at the top, plus the waffle, like, you're, you're able to see the character's face, so I think I'm really happy with that. Um, oh, also, the, little, the Demogorgon, they actually have him in two different positions, too. They have him with his face open, but also with it closed right there, too. So, that's pretty cool. And then, again, same with all the other ones. One big main couch, front, two side pockets. Oh, oh, just a logo. So this one has this just the Stranger Things logo on the inside right there. But yeah, see this is what I mean. Like usually most of them have a specialized logo of whatever it is on the inside of them. But yeah. And then we have one final um, bonus. bonus back backpack to show you guys. So the backstory of this is I ordered it online and I did what a lot of people did, which was not to read the description fully when I bought it. And I, I saw that it was really cute, it said mini backpack, and then when it shipped and I opened it, it was a lot smaller <laughs> than I was expecting. And I looked back on the website and it said micro mini. And this is what I get for not paying attention. It's still really cute. I just I just want to show you guys that that this is what I pulled out of the box, <laughs> not realizing that this is what I ordered. I know, but I saw Miko and thought it was really cute because it's Pocahontas. Pocahontas almost never has merchandise. And so I saw Miko with his biscuits. I'm like, oh, I want it. It's so cute. It looks exactly like the big ones. That's why I didn't notice in the pictures on the website that it's small. So you've got Miko on the front, you've got the front pouch, got the two side pockets. I thought it was exactly the same. But look at the difference. <laughs> it's a lot smaller. So mini. I know, so it's a micro mini. So if any of you have ordered this or haven't ordered and you're just looking at it, just so you know, and don't make the same mistake I did, which is expect this to be the other mini backpacks. It is not. It is a micro mini, so it's even smaller. Because some people have already complained that these backpacks are too small. So this would be even smaller. Um, but here's a few cool things for you guys. Um, well, obviously, you know, you've got really adorable Miko at the front eating his biscuits and everything right there. Like I said, everything is about the same size. 
Or not same size, sorry. It's um, designed the same. You've got the main pocket. And also it only has one zipper. All the other backpacks, like because they're bigger, they have two zippers. This one has just one. Um, the inside is really cute. They do have the specialized print to get their little paw prints. Adorable. That's why they call So there's, I, I want to say that might be the paw prints of the different animals that's in the movie itself because one of them looked like a bird footprint and maybe that's flick. Oh yeah. And then like a dog kind of? Maybe because that would be Percy. Yeah. Oh yeah. So they do have a specialized print just like all the other mini backpacks. This micro mini is a little bit different. Um, I did notice obviously because it is smaller, the side pocket does not fit my phone anymore. So my phone would have to go all the way on the inside. I mean you can, you can put little things in there so like you can still put something just not my phone. Yeah, like the, if you have one of the smaller iPhones, you'd probably be able to put it in, but um, I have the XS Max, so it is bigger and it's not going to fit in there. Um, and then the other difference on this too is the straps. So it does come with, with two, two straps to make it a backpack, which by the way, they're super long. Um, but they're clips, so what you can do is to remove one of the straps and then use just one and clip it from side to side over here and make it a, um, a crossbody bag where it has just a purse versus a backpack. Yeah, that's what it is for, is that so you can unclip it and make it into a purse versus a backpack. But yeah, I hope you guys like this kind of bonus bag <laughs> it was not what I was expecting. It's not really cute though. I think it's cute. It'll, it'll, it'll be great for when I, I need just a small bag where I can put probably... This would probably fit like my phone a smaller wallet like like these other backpacks I've mentioned is that um, people think that they might be small but I think it's plenty of room for me like you can put a full-size like woman's wallet in there and it'll still fit but this one if you have like those big um, like book type wallets that women often have it's probably not gonna fit in here it's, it's pretty short like it, it'd be a tight squeeze so you can do like a smaller wallet like I have some smaller ones that would fit in here your phone would definitely fit and probably like just a few of the other essentials. Um, this color? Pretty close. But yeah. So, just a bonus review for you guys for a micro mini <laughs> lounge fly backpack. That's why they call it mini backpack. Well, it's, it's even smaller, it's a micro mini. Um, um, and then this one is, I, I think it's exclusive to Box Lunch, I'm not sure, but that's where I got it from. But yeah, that's all for number four. Um, our launch live mini backpack reviews, and so we. Yeah, I'm. I, I still, I'm still getting more. It's so bad. It is an addiction. So launch fly box lunch. I'm looking at you guys. This is your fault. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. You know, like, subscribe, all of, all of that, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.